breaker in half. When expansion of the substation is required to accommodate more circuits, the ring bus scheme can easily be expanded to the one and half breaker configuration. This configuration uses two main buses, both of which are normally energized with three breakers connected between the buses. In this bus configuration, three breakers are required for every two circuits, hence the one and half name. Think of it as, to control one circuit requires one full and a half breaker. The middle breaker is shared by both circuits, similar to a ring bus scheme where each circuit is fed from both sides. Any circuit breaker can be isolated and removed for maintenance purposes without interrupting supply to any of the other circuits. Additionally, one of the two main buses can be removed for maintenance without interruption of service to any of the other circuits. If a middle circuit breaker fails, the adjacent breakers are also tripped to interrupt both circuits. If a breaker adjacent to the bus fails, tripping of the middle breaker will not interrupt service to the circuit associated with the remaining breaker in the chain. Only the circuit associated with the failed breaker is removed from service. The breaker in half configuration is very flexible, highly reliable, and more economical in comparison to the double bus double breaker scheme. Protected relay schemes in this configuration are highly complicated as the middle breaker is associated with two circuits. It also requires more space in comparison to other schemes in order to accommodate the large number of components.